This is Anae's Interlibrary Loan System training video. Today we will cover how to print pick lists to retrieve materials that other libraries have asked to borrow from your library through the Interlibrary Loan System. Today we will be working as the Newt School Library. As you can see, I am already logged in to the system using the Interlibrary Loan account for the Newt School. To print a pick list, I need to be looking at transactions that someone has asked me to lend them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Request Manager, which I'm going to get to through the Quick Links. So I choose Request Manager, and I can see here that the Newt School Library has three pending requests. So I need to take action on these. I also have um, an accepted renewal waiting for a partner response, but other than that, my lender stuff is all up to date. So I'm going to click on pending, and this will display for me all of the transactions that are um, currently being asked of me. It looks like the Lilac Public Library wants a bunch of stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to print my pick list, and this will allow me to go to my shelves and see if I have these things in order to take appropriate action on them. To do that, from this lender's um, pending list, I go up here where I have a variety of print options, and I'm going to go I'm going to click on the one that says pick list. And before I do this, I want to be sure that my printer is functional. I have paper. I have all the stuff I'm going to need to print because the pick list is a one time deal. You get one shot at printing it. And then after that, you cannot do it again for these transactions. There are other ways that you can print the transactions. Uh, and I will cover those in a minute. But basically, your pick list is a one shot thing because the presumption is that once you've done it once, you have taken care of it and those things should fall off the list because you don't want to go hunting for the same materials more than once. So I'm going to click pick list and my browser will bring up here my pick list and I can see it gives me the local call number and that is my call number for this. If it doesn't have a call number, for example the Bingo Queens of Paradise and Resurrection Day don't appear to have call numbers. So I have either not put a call number in my local system, if that is how my information is connected to the interlibrary loan system, or more likely, as is the case with the with the Lila, with the new uh, school library, if I'm in the uh, union catalog for my holdings, um, if I didn't provide a call number, there is no local call number displayed. So here is my pick list. It is sorted by call number, and then anything that does not have a call number is sorted by title. So in order to print this, I'm going to use the functionality of my browser and go to print, and then it will print my pick list. If I click the actual print button, it will print a paper copy of my pick list, which I can then take to my shelves and make notes on and figure out what I have or what I do not have. So I'm going to close that window, and then I'm going to close this window. And now these have been printed. I have a piece of paper that I can go to the shelves and find the books and decide which ones I can or cannot lend uh, to the Lilac Public Library. If I go to pick list again, there's nothing there because all of the transactions that are pending have already been printed on a pick list. So if my printer jammed, I lost my piece of paper, I just messed up somehow and need to see these again, I cannot do it through the pick list. I can, however, print my transactions with some other options. So I can go to With Lenders, and this will show me transactions that are um, wanted of me that have a lender and I can um, sort them by some different things in the system. I can change the order of the sort. This is going to be an individual page basically per request. So that is one of my options. I have three records total, but it's going to be a sheet of paper per request in this format. I just closed it so I can see other options. I can print without lenders which is going to be um, the same three records in this particular case. I can print new requests. I don't have any, however, because nothing has come in since I have been sitting here doing this video. 
I can do new requests with history. So you can't really see the difference here because there aren't two, but the difference between new requests and new requests with history is how much detail is going to be in your report. So a new request is a shorter version. A new request with history gives you all of the transaction history of who's seen it, who's wanted it, and so forth. So it, it is quite a bit of paper. So you probably wouldn't want to do that in a regular uh, on a regular basis, but if you have a particular thing that for some reason you are trying to track down details of and, and print a copy of them, you can do that. So once I have my pick list, I would come back, I would look at the individual transactions and take whatever action on them I need to take. So for example, let's say I'm going to ship the Bingo Queens of Paradise and I don't need to change any dates or anything I just need to ship it so that's fine and then I'm going to go back and come back to my other things and the um, missing watermelon money and resurrection day I am going to also ship that one and I am going to ship this one and so I submit so now the Newt School Library has no pending transactions. It has three ship transactions and it still has something that was accepted for renewal. So I have completed my information on printing pick lists and am ready to proceed with the rest of my day. If you have questions about how to print pick lists or other records of the requests that have been made of your library, please contact the NAIS Help Desk either by phone or by email. Thank you for watching.